This is my Lone Star Grill mini cabinet smoker. I'm going to show you some mods and some tips I do maintaining it. I went to Home Depot and bought a rubber doormat to protect the stainless. And I also put it down there in the bottom too to keep it from getting scratched. I bought a paper towel holder off Amazon that's magnetic. So your paper towels are right there. I also made a handle hook. I couldn't find one that I liked on a Amazon or eBay or anything like that. A hardware store because they're straight. So I twisted this so it goes that way. But it's just a 30 cent rubber coated hanger that I just cut and bent. Here on the inside, I got the added extra shelf. And when I'm only cooking ribs on one rack, here, I put my other racks above. That way you don't have to clean them. And also, uh, every time I cook, I put a foil down on the bottom there. I don't use water, but that catches all your grease for an easy cleanup. And then while my smoker is still hot, I brush the grate. And all that stuff falls in the foil here. And I'm getting ready to cook today, so you just pull this up. But as you can tell how clean that is on the bottom. But a couple pieces of foil does wonders. And uh, another maintenance thing, I don't shut my doors when I put it in the garage. But after, you, I leave them cracked. But Walter Stump showed me this. If you go around your gaskets and pinch them, it poofs them back up every time. And that way you guarantee a good seal. But Walter Stump of Stump Smokers showed me that. And it works real good and keeps them pliable. But like I said, when I store it in the garage, I just leave it so it'll air out. I just leave it like that and don't keep the doors shut all the time on it. Another thing, firebox. Always keep the ash can cleaned out real good so it doesn't rust. And I got another video of this mod here, but I use I don't use the T plates for like the snake method, but I made these little clips and it holds them down. And just using just this side here, I can get up to a 10 hour cook with charcoal. And if I fill the whole thing up, it'll go for 30 plus hours. It'll go two and a half, almost three days if I fill it up at 250 to 275 degrees. So that's why I did this so your charcoal would stay stacked and you don't have to use as much and it burns hotter all being in one section instead of laying down. But you can see I got another clip back there and like I said these are just the S plates. I made these clips out of metal and bent them and they just they hold everything fine or you can move them wider or you can move you know so far in. But you can even tell in the back here, I'm not even using the back space there. I'm just using a little rectangle space. So you can see how big this basket is. But keeping your uh, firebox cleaned out and stuff, it won't rust. And like I said, pinch these gaskets too. And I leave it cracked. It also makes my garage smell good too. But uh... I just thought I'd show you a few mods that I do and also these probe uh, fireboard probe cords are so long so they don't get in the way of the latch and stuff I put them and hook them underneath here and then into my fireboard and that way they're you know out of the way of the latch and don't get pinched but I just thought I'd show you a few mods that I do and some tips might help somebody out but that handle thing's a plus i'm tired of tripping over it and i hate taking it off down there at the bottom it's just a pain in the butt and this way it stays out of the way real easy you know keeps it up i wish they had, that's my only gripe about this smoker that is the only gripe and i tried using magnets one time and you can see they're still here i hadn't taken them off but i glued it on there but it only lasted so long because the stainless it didn't want to stick real good and eventually fell off so 
this is a plus right here. It won't, it won't slide down or go nowhere. Keeps it out of the way. But I love this smoker. I'll never get rid of it. It is perfect. I want a stick burner still, so don't get me wrong. Uh, another thing on startup, just a quick thing. I do open the water valve and this all the way up. And when it gets within 50 degrees of my target temp, say if I'm cooking at 250, I will uh, let it go to 200 and then I'll close it down to just about an eighth inch open, no more than a quarter inch open on that. And I close the water valve and then close the top about two thirds of the way and let it come up to temp slowly that way. And it'll meet its target temp right at 250, 275. I don't, if it fluctuates a little, I get it halfway close. That's what I cook at. Food, food will get done when it gets done. But those are some tips I did, you know, just to protect it and made it my own kind of. But fire basket's a big deal, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to use as much charcoal and you can size your how much charcoal you want to use and don't let it go to waste but hopefully this will help you out and on any of your other smokers that have handles or off-road package you could do the same with it so but thanks for checking it out and i'm gonna do uh, some spatchcock chickens in a little bit and i'm gonna get this thing fired up take uh, take care god bless <laughs>